Hi guys, what's going on? Overskill Gaming here, and I'm bringing you a new video about all the barbarian set dungeons, how you can master them, and it's just pure gameplay. If you need more information, just check out my other videos about the abilities, about the equipment and the location of all those set dungeons. So leave me a like, take yourself some seconds, I would really really appreciate it. It's never needed but always appreciate it. And leave me a comment if you like, which is your favorite barbarian set dungeon. But now, without further talking, let's go right into the gameplay. So let's go right into it and see how we have to play it out. So you just want to use Furious Charge to kill those guys. And then you want to make sure to have all those guys in a line and charge right through them, okay? So that is all. Always want to have those long charges. We don't want to charge on one point. We want to charge right through them and hope there are at least 15 in a row. So with these furious charges, we load our furious charge damage up. You can see it right here. We have 18 stacks now. And then we can just do seismic slam on one guy. And we will hit our enemies with a resource spending attack that deals 3750% or more damage. So that's how easy it is. You just charge like five times is enough. And then you left click and do the furious charge. So let's see if those guys are 15, perfect. And after, did, uh, after that we can left click and kill them with our seismic slam. So not too hard. If they are like single we can just kill them with furious charge. Can't do a whole lot there. Yeah, we just kill them. And in some cases you can just kill them with a one shot of seismic slam. So let's manipulate them a little bit and we charge right through all of them. So we already have three out of six from the one task and the other task is also nearly fulfilled. So we charge through 26 in this case. And we always have to make sure that we kill all of them so we don't have to run back. But the time is not such a big deal in this one. So yeah, we have enough time. So we kill this one. No, that looks like a good situation to run through 15. Okay hasn't worked. Let's go through them. Perfect. Always try to do those very very long charges. Click with your mouse button as far on the other side of the screen as you can. And yeah. If you do that you will easily be able to do it. So then we charge. Load up our charge. And then we left click to do our damage dealing attack. So now we did all our objectives, our primary objectives. Now we just have to kill everything that is in the rift. And yeah, it's as easy as that. And we have to look a little bit on the map where the other monsters are. So you can do it one, two or three times to just study the map so you know where you have to go and find all the minions. And yeah, you should try to do the first and the second primary objective as fast as you can in the rift. So you just have to clear it later like I have to do now. 
So, and we have to clear three more monsters. Okay, that's good. And as you can see, I have still like 50 seconds left. So, time is really not a big deal in this one. Just to make sure you always charge in a straight long line. So, not on one point like you usually do with this barb. Just in one line. And make sure to load up your furious charge like five or more times. And then do the seismic slam on single targets. So let's go right into the rift and see how we have to do it. So what you want to do is you always want to rent 10 minions as early as possible. So always look for groups of 10 or more minions and then run into them, press 1, press left click and that's how you do the first task, the rent enemy task. So we did that quite well in this situation and now we try to trigger even more, press 1 and press left click and we got it a second time. So always try to stun them so they can't even hit you. So we got it 2 out of 5 times in this first area. So that is very good and also enough there are some spots where we can do it later on. So kill this purple guy and then we just jump into them, press our 1 press left click and we got it. So that worked out very very well for now. So let's see, okay no one's there and now we have to watch out for the pendulum stuff. Just run through, just go through, go through this guy, go through this position, then press our button, left click and we got four out of five times already. So just clear the rest. We are good. And we just need one more spot where we can rent 10 guys. And then we only have to clear the rest of the rift. So that is good. We killed this guy, no problem. Let's run right through. Here's a secret room where you always have to check if an enemy hides there. So we got this also in here. But we are good and this guy should be dead. Okay, he's dead. And now I need one more time with 10 minions and we got that. And now our only task, our only task is to clear all the 80 left monsters. But that's not easy as well. Always watch out for the physical damage. Never underestimate that task. So you always have to stay concentrated when you try to do this set dungeon. Kill them, wait for the pendulum, go through it and yeah, just kill just try to kill all of them. Always try to stay mobile so they have a lower chance of actually hitting you. Never try to stand on one spot. So I have 13 minions left and still 1 minute 43. So time is not a big deal in this one. It's more like to not get hit by physical damage. So now we are getting on the other different spot. Try to go through all of it without taking any damage. And now only 8 minions are left and they are on the other side. And if we can do that, we finally have done it. And I did it. But I can tell you one thing. I was really sweaty at the end. So don't get too sad if you can't do it the first time. I tried around three or four times now to do it. So it's not an easy set dungeon. But when you follow the instructions and when you try a few times, you can do it for sure.
So what you want to do is you want to press Wrath ref of the Berserker and you want to start running and hit everything with left click so you can kill everything with your primary attack. So they will jump at you, that's not a problem because they usually don't deal enough damage to kill you. Always keep up your Wrath of the Berserker, I just usually click 4 a lot of times, so I always do the attack. So you run through the rift, just go in every corner and there's one of those 7 elites and you just Hit him with your left mouse click, with your attack on your left mouse and then you will fulfill that task. It's not very hard to be honest. So we keep on running, we always press 4 so we keep up the rough of the berserker and we just hit everything and yeah that's how you do it. Also the time is not a very big deal in this rift because you will find all your enemies very very easily. It's a very straight forward rift. You just grind those corners and then you sprint to be faster. We try to kill this guy as well with our primary attack. Got him. We already got three out of seven and we got another one. Then I run straight down here to the end of this area, hit everything here, I just looked that Wrath of the Berserker is always up, so you always want to be in your special barbarian form, you go here, kill all those enemies, and as you could see, we did the part with the Wrath of the Berserker very early, there are like 50 minions left, and we still have to hit three of the elites with our damage attack. So let's kill this king's guardian very fast. Let's see, okay, no more monsters here. Just sprint through the rift. We just want to be very fast, very mobile so we can actually reach all the enemies. And then we see, we have to go a little bit down there. Here I lost my Wrath of the Berserker, which should probably not happen, but yeah, as I did the objective before, so it's not a problem for me in this case. So we killed this guy, we have 20 minions left and still 2 minutes of time, so you see it's very easy doable, very easy possible. Here's the last elite guy, we just hit him and kill him and we also did that objective and there is somewhere one monster hiding and that is the guy we have to find now and I hope we will find him pretty fast. Let's see where he's hiding. And there he is and then we finally mastered this set dungeon. As you could see from the gameplay when you have all the right skills, all the equipment you need, and when you know where this set dungeon is, it's not a big deal to just play it at the end. I mean, you can't really die, and you just have to keep your Wrath of the Berserker up. I think you can do it, and that's it for this set dungeon guide. Since we have set up everything to master the set dungeon, let's go right into it and see how we have to play it. So what you obviously don't want to do, you don't want to use the cooldown of your earthquake unless there is a elite minion because we need, need it to combo it. So there is the combo, just jump on him, ground storm him and then press earthquake. And yeah, then you do what you have to do in this set dungeon. When Earthquake is on cooldown, we just try to kill as many of the small minions as possible. Jump on them and then just run back into the rift. 
kill those guys and we also just watch where this guy is combo him down and that's it and then we just go back in the meantime kill everything else that runs around without using the earthquake cooldown jump this guy jump this guy as well then we run over the bridge and we look for the next elite guy here he is we jump on him we press ground stomp we press earthquake and that is our full combo So that was a bit, a bit not careful enough from me because I didn't have Earthquake when I started the combo but it was in the time limit so it was not good but it worked out at the end. So we also have done the other task in the meantime so also no problem you will do it when you just try to kill all the elites and all the trash minions in the meantime because we set it up like that we try to have all our attacks with freezing runes and that is the key to fulfill the other primary objective So what we're trying to do is now to just combo the rest of the elite guys and just kill the rest of the monsters in the rift. 59 are left actually, so not too much of them, so that is very good. And we have to kill one elite guy to master the rift. So there he is, we just have to do the combo correct one time and yeah, as you can see I was really concentrated there, really want to do it because I have to admit that I needed some tries like around 3 or 4 because you shouldn't underestimate that side dungeon, it's not the easiest one, it's in my opinion the hardest barb set dungeon. So yeah, don't underestimate that one, it's actually not too easy. And I'm still missing some of the guys, 12 minions left, but should be able to do it in the rest of the time. Let's see where they are, but I'm really sure I can find them. 12 left. Okay. Let's hope all of them are here actually. <laughs> 3 left, okay. So they aren't. So it's a little bit of a search, a little bit of a struggle here. Okay. I have still have 40 seconds to find the last two minions. Here's one. And now we have to hope we find the last one as well. There he is and I did it. But as you can see, just focus on the elite guys, on your combo. You will do the second objective in this time and yeah, just focus on killing all the small ones so you don't have to look at them at the end like I had to do. But that's it for this set dungeon. Isn't too easy, it's the hardest of all the set or of the set dungeons of the bar, but it's definitely doable. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it helped you mastering maybe one or even better all the barbarian set dungeons. Would really appreciate a like and a subscription but just if you want, no problem if you don't. And that's it for this video, I'm out, see ya!